My, but my parents went out on shlichus from Tavshin Yutes. Tavshin Yutes, you're talking about over 60 years ago. Today, when you go out anywhere, of course, you want to use the word Nefesh, but let's talk practically. Today, you have other shlichus to consult with. You have WhatsApp, you have uh, the telephone, you have uh, uh, the altis, and everything is behesed yad. Those days, when I'm saying those days, I'm talking about, I remember when I was a kid, I heard, I had one chance to hear the Rebbe, and that was that in Tafshin Chaf, the Rebbe sent to my father records, if those of you who know what records are, of the Fabrengen of Yud Shvat, Tafshin Yutes. So, if I wanted to hear the Rebbe's voice, that's what I heard. That was it. Mishtok Mer. Tafshin Chaf Ches, somebody brought us a tape of Yutes Kislev of Zayn. So, that was my other chance to... I hook up my telephone, loy ola la das klalu klal at that time. When my father went to Shlichus, he had nobody who to talk to, who to ask, because the were very few Shlichus at that time. So there was nobody who to consult with. And he was a bachar out of 770, he never dealt with Balabatim. He never dealt with uh, the, the people out there. He, he, he was totally out of it. So my father used to write to the Rebbe, Literally, almost every day, every two days, every time you had to go to a meeting, he wrote to the Rebbe, what do I do? Every time you had to not, he used to write to the Rebbe. And believe it or not, the Rebbe answered on every single letter that my father wrote. And sometimes it was an emergency, so those days was something called a telegram. You see, you could see it on Ivrak. Ivrak means that they, you call a certain office in Manhattan and they will type something to a certain office in Milan and they would bring the letter to, to the house. But it was within the day, within the next two days or so. So this was the Mivrak system. So, uh, and for literally, for a good couple of years, my father got an unbelievable amount of letters. Unbelievable. I'm now I'm putting it together. It's a oitzer balum shein My father, what, he, he himself wasn't aware of how much stuff there is. And around Chavches Chavtes, when my father was here in Yechidus, I would assume that it was after Amal passed away, so I guess the Rebbe started writing less letters, and as you can see in Igor's Kedish. The Rebbe told my father, this is the Lush that my father used to always say. The Rebbe said, Till when will I have to carry you around like a kid in the arms? The Rebbe went like this. And the Rebbe said, Tracht in Chabad. Best of sein zu meinem Kabone. Think in Chabad, and you'll be Mechab in Trikabone. I remember, this was when I was, at that time I was about seven, eight, and I remember specifically that whenever my father had to go to a meeting, I'm talking about a meeting with God, Grace, I mentioned, and big affairs, my father would sit down with the onion papers. The onion papers is, I should have actually brought an example here. Today, Baruch Hashem, look what you have over here. Yeah, and I remember when the Kutte Sikha's head and base came to our house, okay? Just to give you an idea. There was nothing. All we had from the Rebbe, in those days, photostats. Cost a lot of money. There was no such thing as making photostats. So when they used to type in a typewriter, so in order to save money, they used to type on very thin paper. You know, when you type. And each paper had a black thing behind it. So you could type and it goes on five, six papers. So on the first paper, it's very clear. On the other one, it's a little more smudgy. And as it goes, more and more papers, it's more smudgy. So when the Rebbe used to type the Farangans, so the first copy, of course, went to the Rebbe. The second one, I'm not exactly sure how it went to the Rebbe or to the, to the archive, whatever. And the last one used to go to my father. My father used to get the, so this, these were the onion papers. And I remember how my father used to sit a whole night with these papers. The next day he would go to his meetings, and I don't remember once that my father was not successful in any of his shlichusim for the Rebbe. Why? Because Trachti Chabad is to Mechavah Zayn Semayn Kavon. 